Hi, welcome back. After fixing that in the last video, oh, and I've got a new thing for that as well. After fixing that in the last video, um, we're going to get on with the blade because the blade wants it needs fixing. But anyhow, a little word of advice about the fixing of that: if it sinks in just a little bit too low, which this sort of is a bit, don't worry because by the time you get a couple of coats of oil or varnish or whatever on there. It um, it starts coming back out again. So by the time there's two coats on there, two coats on here, it starts coming out again. But anyway, what I did think was it's almost worth gluing down some strips or a patch of, say, 600 grit wet and dry. You could glue it onto there. It would grip there. It would actually be quite cool. So anyway, right. What we're going to do in this one is strip this down, take it apart and give all this mechanism a clean. The good thing is I've got a little bit of time because I'm waiting for a job over there to dry. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, so while I'm waiting for that to dry, get on with this. Now, this is a tricky little thing to get out. The, do you remember the spring from last time? The spring can fall out which is great. You can, you can pull this back. You can rotate it. Oh. You can rotate it in there, pull it through. There's your mechanism. This thing doesn't need to come right out, but seeing as we're cleaning all the mechanism up this time, it's worth coming out. So there you go, so that's that. So that needs a clean. That doesn't need anything doing to it. The washer needs a wipe over. That needs a bit of a clean. That can have a clean. These can have a clean. Oh, everything's gonna get cleaned, isn't it? Let's start with this one. So this is the adjuster. And uh, as you can see, there's a bit of rust under there. So I don't know how this is going to clean up. Let's see how we get on. I use some um, liquid chrome cleaner, Autosol. It is good. Okay. Well, that doesn't do much. Okay. Plan B. Let's try this. I don't know what was on there, but that looks better. That's come up all right, hasn't it? Thread, we'll just get oiled. There's nothing wrong with the thread. I don't want to damage the thread at all. I've got to show you this. I've found a good way of cleaning this knurling out. So what I've done is I've just gone the way a gear would. Keeping the drill quite slowly. and just turning them off. So just turning that backwards and forwards has cleaned all that, that out. Looks great. So I found one of these screw things that you find in modular furniture. Running it up and down the thread. So that's done. Clean that off a bit. Could do with a bit more polish around there, but I've got rid of the brown rust as much as I can. The spring, well, it actually looks all right. It's, it, there's not much that can go wrong with this, except for rust. But it actually looks fine. Well, the washer just needs a bit of TLC. I think it's actually coated in something. I think there's oil or grease. There you go. 
You know when people sometimes put grease all over the tools to stop them going rusty. Oh blimey, that's done. There you go. Clean cloth. Bit of solvent off the uh, auto sol. That's done. Next. Now these things, I'm going to do this. These things, plastic. Auto sol is pretty good on plastics too. But I wanted to get this muck off as well because there's quite a bit of muck on the back of here. don't know why. So the auto sol should be good on here as well. There you go. And round here. That's pretty good. There's a bit of muck in these, which I suppose I could get with a toothbrush. That's looking better already, isn't it? Let's get some muck off this. It's actually okay down here, it's just round here, it's got some rust. Let's work on that. So there you go. If you can put a wire brush in a grinder or on a lathe, then you'd be able to manipulate a bit easier than on the end of a heavy drill. But it's working okay. That's not bad. Let's just clean that thread out. So all this really, so far, is just a few minutes. That's great. So they're done. So the next part, really, is the bit that you've been waiting for, which is, let's sort this out. And the problem with this, really, is it's not a lever. So I've just got a big adjustable spanner. Because I haven't got with me a spanner that fits, which would need to be a 14mm spanner. So I need to get a 14mm spanner for this little thing. Right, let's have a look at the nitty gritty here. We've got a nut, some kind of grippy, splitty washer thing. Okay, that's that it grips to the regulator. That's what's called a regulator. As you can see, it's in better days, but We'll see what that looks like in a bit. Then we've got the cap iron, which actually looks pretty well fitted to that. None of this has been touched. The cap iron onto the iron, and this hasn't been sharpened either. If you look really closely, really carefully, you can see it's never been sharpened. I've got a screwdriver for this. Let me grab it. And my screwdriver that normally fits Stanley's and records doesn't fit. So I've got to get a big screwdriver. And this is just a bit unusual because there's two screws holding the lever cap. Oh my life. These have probably never been undone. Two screws holding the lever cap to the iron. Which is different. Ah, right. And that's why they've got two that's why we've got a funny shape at the top. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense now, doesn't it? Why the funny shape? Okay, that's cool. So, a bit of muck, but no rust in there. Just a bit on the outside. That's going to clean up really good. Okay, the iron is the bit I've been looking for. Oh, okay. Look, next to nothing. Back's never been flattened off. This has never been apart. This has never been apart. Look at that. Wow.
just needs one there and I have to stop that slot down there. So it's got a bit warm now. This end's cold. That's got a bit warm. I'm just going to put it under the tap. That's been cooled down now with a bit of cold water. As you can see, this has got the original grinder marks on, so this has never been used. Let's turn it over. Now the screws are coming through the back of here, so I can just put that on the bench, knock it down, it's not going to move around. So that's good. Bring the drill over. Not even warm. Well, that's looking better already, isn't it? Still got some muck on these edges. It's quite light on these edges. When it comes to the blade, if you've got yourself a nice little diamond stone, any sort of diamond stone, I'd advise you to use that, the diamond stone, on here because it'll also take some of these sharp things. Now I've got the blade pointing this way, so I'm careful that when I'm pushing back, I'll, um, I'll keep away from that. But I found this method pretty good. You can take off sharp edges as well at the same time, which makes it so much better to use without all these sharp edges around. So you can go across it, that way you can go like draw file way you can go however you want but what i would say is finish the same way all the way down it does look better it does finish it better and what you can do is when you've done this you can just give it a bit of a polish with some of the Solvo polish, just be careful on this end you just pull it towards you. But then for the rest of it, you can go up and down. Right, I've got to mention this as well. This is Gary Flex. This will clean the last bit of rust or traces of rust off, get rid of some pitting even, and it'll also round those corners for you. If you can get one of these Gary Flex blocks, they are great. So it's a Garrison Gary Flex block. And I have to say thank you to Gary. So back onto this. Now let's show you what it looks like. There was the rusty patch, so that's the before, and that's the after. So I'll carry on zipping around here. I'm even going to do inside here and tidy some of this up. There's a video, another video on my playlist, sharpening and plane tuning workshop. There's another video showing how I prepare blades. But I'm going to go all over this now, and uh, we'll come back in a bit. And lastly, come to the top. We've already done some something like this because I can see the burrs on here. So somebody's already done that in manufacturing. In fact, I guess what they've done in manufacturing is they've got it against a wheel and they've just taken the sharp edges off like that, turned it around, just to remove the sharp edges. Right, let's do the front of the blade, front, which actually is the back. But let's get rid of some of this now. So just with the Gary Flex. I 
I'm being mindful of this sharp edge here and I don't want to go too close to it because I don't want to affect the, the way the back is flattened. So there's some sticky stuff on here again. That's coming off, that's good. Right, let's go into this area here. Do you want to get a bit closer and have a look? Right, it's got all some muck. Let's just push. You can see here there's a there's a dent, dent just there, a little pinhole. These are usually found on some old tools where they tested them for um, the Rockwell hardness. So a hardness test has been put just there. I can see the dink, it's a proper nice little round dink. So I'm just going to go over this now with my little diamond plate and let's see what it does to this writing because that's been pressed so some of that metal will be slightly deformed. Dremel in there, I think. Let me just do this and then I'll get a Dremel. Right, changing tactics here because it's not working brilliantly. Feels better already. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's one side done. So I'll go this side. Different approach to this side. I've gone over with the cleaner first, just to get some of the liquid off, so I get some of the varnish off as well, because it's got some old grease and varnish on here. So that's cleaned quite a bit of it off already. Now I can go with, I don't, yeah, I'll just take the sharp edges off in here with this again. Don't need all those sharp edges around. As I say, dremel in a bit. Right now let's go over this lot. Right, now I'm just going to go around it by hand, just over the sharp edges. It's a shame about this mottling on this side, isn't it? I don't want to take it any deeper. What will happen is every now and then I'll give it a clean. It'll work its way in, as in it'll grind away slowly. So there you go, just going over it quickly and on a previous video I've, I've shown how I treat, how I treat all of this, it's gone in quite nice around there actually, around there it's done, it's done great, but um, yeah just where it's pressed out it's not very nice, I'll do a bit more. Jeez, 
Does that look better? I think it does. And it just shows what a bargain I got now, doesn't it? The fact that this has never actually been sharpened. So I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, it's got a bit of rust on it, but... Right, how does that look now? The chrome plating on here is very good. It's a shame there's a bit of pity in there, but crikey, it's quite nice. Didn't take long at all. Put that through there. Slide that down. I'm not going to sharpen it in this video. It's all about getting it all cleaned up. It is unusual having two screws to do the to hold the cap iron on. The screws have had a clean as well, so they look great. Right, so that bit's done, as you can see. Looks great. Next bit, the last part, is just these three pieces. The regulator, the 14mm nut, and this strange little crimped washer. Right, so I'm cleaning the regulator, and I've just remembered these two pieces, these two side pieces here, push off the inside of the plate. Before I put it all back together, I'll just take these sharp edges off, so that it's um, so it's going to do less damage. If I grab the plane, you can see that bit there. Using the Gariflex on this chromed bolt, get all those edges tidied up. Got all that back together, left a small gap there, as it would be. As you can see, the blade has cleaned up pretty good. The cap iron has got, if I do that, can you see it? Cap iron's got quite a good coating of foam on it, so it's not gone too rusty actually. Right, let's put this thing back together. Undo that. Undo that and turn it to the side, like so. Put the blade in. I've got to loosen that off. Turn that round until I can see the writing, which is, it's a little bit tricky to do. Oh, you are tricky, there you go. You were tricky for a minute. Right. So, this adjusts the blade down, up and down. This adjusts the blade in and out. I've got rid of that awful red paint that was on there. So actually it all looks really nice. That looks good, feels good. The adjuster, you can see a bit of pitting on there, but it's okay. Oh, you can see the reflection of the light. Anyhow, that is nearly it. Let's put this little bit beauty back in. I mentioned it earlier, didn't I, about the fact that you could put a bit of um, I don't know, 400, 600 grit, fine emery, wet and dry, glue it to the inside of that. All right, let's see if we can adjust this out now so that you guys can see what's going on. So regulator, as you can see, the blade is all over that side 
I want to come in, bring it this way. So let's see what we have to do. Oh, there you go. That's not too bad. Push the blade down. But you've got this balance of when you're pushing the blade, adjusting the blade down, you've got to take the tension off the spring at the same time because you're pushing this bar, making this bar longer. So you've got to release the tension, push it down. That's looking quite good. Oh, there you go. Can you see the blade sticking up? Right, okay. So let's use the regulator. That's parallel now. See the blade right in the middle. All right, let's adjust the blade out. Tighten the tension. Adjust the blade out. Tighten the tension. Needs regulating slightly, but basically that's it. That's it. Let's get you off there and show you what it looks like. That looks great. Looks great. All the rust's gone. Yeah, there's some pit in, but you know what? That looks really good. That looks really good. That's ready for next bit. And the next one, I will be sharpening it, setting it up, putting a camber on it planing with it, getting rid of some of this paint, giving it a little bit of a clean. So next video it'll be finished. Thanks for watching.